So, Ruben, as you know, you've got 15 minutes to present. Mm -hmm. After your presentation, you'll have a seat and we'll ask you some questions. Okay, you can start now. Okay, good afternoon to, the, to you, professors. Uh, well, today I'm going to present my research, my research report, which is how may the error corrections by the teacher influence the WTC or willingness to communicate of students. The, my name is Juan Cruz and this is my presentation. Well, to give you a little bit of context about my study, this study was carried out at Santo Tomas University, located here in Santiago, with a course of Basic English 2, and with a, num and with a number of participants of 15 students. The identification of the, of the research problem was made through field notes. The, the, the topic was originated from what was observed in the, in the Basic English 2 class, during in, here in the university, and during these classes, it was noticed that the willingness to communicate of students uh, regarding to the proposed activities by the teacher changed when when he or she, when he complained about the different mistakes that the students made. So, from this, the deficiency in evidence found for this for this study is that error correction and willingness to communicate are mentioned in studies, but separately. They are not together in one phenomenon. So it was quite difficult to find information about the two, the two topics together. The purpose of this study is to determine if there are or not influences that relate the error correction by the teacher on the students of the UTC during an EFL class. The general objective for this study is to explore the influence that may be presented between the error correction of the teacher on the students of the UTC in a basic English 2 university class, as I said before. The specific objectives are related to the two main variables of this study, which is error correction and WTC. The first one is to identify the error correction made by the teacher, and the second one to determine the WTC of students during the class. In the description of sources, first in the theoretical background, according to Galacta, 2017, WTC has to do with the way in which the personality of people lets them start communication, but it also has relation with what factors are presented in the situation given. In this case, the factors in the situation given are the error correction by the teacher and how the teacher expresses these corrections. Then, in the empirical background, Walls 1982 states that teachers must take into account the needs and abilities of individual students as well as the type of error made. So, this means that the, teacher, the teachers need to, 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 need to get, need to know well each need that students may have or present during classes in order to, to let them communicate in a better way. Then in the political background, uh, Mineduc 2016 states that the idea of using the English language is to promote ways in which students can bond with other people and the world around them. And this is, similar, uh, this is closely related to the social background in which Fundación Belén Educa 2014 proposes that to deliver a quality education, the entire educational community is required to have a great performance regarding to the achievement in class. Why these two backgrounds are related? Because the, the, the two of them point to the fact that it is necessary that the students are constantly encouraged to use the language, uh, to use the language, the language in a positive way in order to give them the tools to use the language in a real context, not, not just during classes. The assumptions for this study are two. One for the teachers, and which is the teachers take into account the way in which they make their students notice the mistakes. And the second one for students, that the students are expected to understand that they need to be well corrected when they make a mistake. The, the idea of, this, of these two assumptions is that as uh, teachers and students, the two main important parts of the class, create a sense of respect and awareness regarding to these important factors that, that may have influence during classes. The, regarding to methodology, the paradigm chosen for this study is the interpretive one. Orlikowski and Barudi, 1991, state that, they state that interpretive researchers thus attempt to understand phenomena through accessing the meanings that participants assign to them. In this case, the meanings are the perception that are going to be explained later. Uh, the, the meanings and the perception that 
the participant of this uh, the study gave to the information gathered. And the approach, the qualitative one, was chosen because it has direct relationship with the participants and with the perceptions again uh, the particip that the participants um, had in the field investigated. The design for this study was the phenomenological one. According to Waters, 1991, uh, this, this design is useful to be able to understand what and how people see certain situations in a specific place. Besides, information can be obtained from the, from the experiences that people are living in the field investigated, as in the case of the, uh, the information gathered in the, in the interview. And, the, and finally, it focuses on the individual subjective characteristics of the investigated participants. And this point is very important because each participant, each student, has different characteristics that need, need to be taken into account in order to, to answer the research question. The procedure for this study uh, had two steps. First, the observation to identify the error correction through field notes. Determ determine the WTC in students through the interview and the analysis of information through the creation of matrices, uh, matrices and a triangulation matrix. The instrumentation. The well, the conceptual test, the conceptual definition for, for film for film note, and according to Creswell 2014, is that it can be obtained accurate information in an organized way through the film. Besides, it is possible to focus on the greatest details related to the study. So, what does it mean? In, the, in an operational definition, it can be said that um, field, notes, uh, field notes are a useful tool to, get, to, to gather inf specific information in, in specific information in certain and certain situations that the researcher is, is, ob is observing. And the interview, as made in 1991 states, are essentially verbally questionnaires in which a list of questions are asked. But the original definition for this is that interview is useful in this case, at least, to gather information about the, the different perceptions and feelings that, it's, that students may have regarding to the error correction by, uh, made by the teacher. It is worth mentioning that uh, the participants of the interview were chosen uh, through the purposive sampling method. And uh, as Albi 2016 states, in purposive sampling, the sample is approached having a prior purpose in mind. In this case, the purpose is try to understand the, uh, what, what, what perceptions students had when they were corrected by the teacher. The data analysis technique. When the, well, all the information gathered from the two data collection techni techniques were, were codified and then categorized into two main matrices, one for each data collection instrument, and then this information was, this information was um, interpreted and uh, was put into a triangulation matrix which gave me, which gave to the researchers, sorry, uh, the, um, the necessary conclusions and findings to answer the research question. Regarding to trustworthiness, in the, according to what Shenton 2004 uh, it states as definition, uh, credibility has to do with the supporting data. And it can be said that this, this study provides a faithful description from the point of view of the participants, as it was in the case of the interview. And in the case of dependability, it has to do with the validity of the collections instrument can be said that the method can be adapted to the particular reality it intends to understand. So this means that the, the study is feasible to be conducted in this context. Transferability has to do with the, with the variation of the results. In, in, in this case, if other researchers want to conduct the same study in a similar, in a similar context with a, with a similar uh, number of participants, they should arrive at the same interpretation of data. And then confirmability has to do with the clear result. And there is, in, in, in the study at least, uh, there is a complete, a complete description of the reality observed so that the results are interpreted, interpreted clearly. So, 
Thank you. Thank you. In the analysis of data, as I said before, the first step was to was the application of the instrument, of the two instruments. And from this from this information, uh, different grouping codes codes arose and from the from the matrix of the field notes, the, the codes are approval behavior of the teacher, motivating way to give the answers, persistent mistakes, positive reception by the students, students' self-correction, and disapproval behavior of the, te of the teacher. And from these codes, uh, a new emerging, emerging category uh, arose, sorry, and which is error correction. So in, the, in, this, in, in this sense, in, the, in this case, sorry, the er error correction is related to the application of the field notes. And then the same process was applied with the interview in which the, the grouping codes that arose from the information gathered in the interview is uh, higher WTC, lower WTC, and the personal factors that affected in the, um, uh, during the class regarding to the, to the teacher's error correction. And the emerging category from this from this matrix is the willing, is willingness to communicate. Once the once the emerging category where where the emerging ca categories were um, in, interpreted and, and concluded, it, it was possible to reach to the following findings. The first one says that within the classroom there may be presence of, of more than one way of correcting students' mistake. And it can be said in this way that error correction has a key participation in the class. But it also has two variations depending on how the correction is made. The first variation is that if the error correction is made in a way that give, that give to the students the sorry, forgot what, uh, that give to the students the Sorry, I forgot the word. I need to check this. The confidence. Sorry, sorry. Uh, well, as I as I was saying, uh, if the error correction is made in a way in which the in which the teacher gave to the students the, the confidence to keep to keep participating in the class, the willingness to communicate of students is going to increase. And the second variation, on the other hand, is that if the, th if the error correction is made in a way that make, the, that make students feel uncomfortable with the corrections, it is, going to, it is going to be created a sense of rejection for future, for future uh, corrections. And in this way, uh, besides that the UTC of students it is going to decrease. Then, the, we and then we can talk about the answer to the research question, which is that there is an influence of the error correction made by the teacher on the willingness to communicate of students. Uh, in, in other words, depending on the form and moment in which the teacher, the teacher expresses his corrections, uh, there may be a positive or negative effect in, on the willingness to communicate of students, right? Then the limitation of the study is the lack of time to collect information. Considering the fact that uh, the researcher was one of the three teachers that were in the class, uh, it was necessary to, to, to take notes for the field notes just uh, about the tutor teacher. And the tutor teacher made very few classes during the semester. So that's the limitation. The contribution of findings is that teachers become aware of the responsibility regarding to the positive or negative repercussions that these corrections may have and the, and, and the way in which they should express these corrections. Uh, for future directions, it, is, it can be said that this study aimed at secondary and adult students, and this is because the, at these levels, Students, students are more prone to be corrected since they have more opportunities to participate during the class than in the lower, in the lower levels. 
and the number of classes that would be observed needs need to be taken into account too in order to gather the necessary information. Now, in metacognition, in order to talk about the conceptualization of the teacher researcher's role, it is necessary to quote what Vygotsky in 1930 said. All human behavior finds its origin in reaction to stimuli coming from the external world. And this is related to the importance of the teacher's communication. The, the, the commu teachers, teachers need to have a good communication and relationship with the students and, and it, is necessary to, it, is, it is also necessary to have considerations uh, with the need, <coughs> with the opinions and with the feelings that the students have in classes in order to create a great environment during the class. And uh, what changed in my, in my experience, what changed in me during the, during the practitioner process was the concern about the expressions. Uh, this means that the, the responsibility that the students, that, no, that, sorry, that teachers have regarding to the way in which they take care on how express the, the error correction because it, it is going to have influences on the, the, the UTC of students. So for that reason I concern more about the expressions. And then as a researcher in the process, uh, what changed me uh, was the fact that how to properly conduct a research report. Because in, in, in order to, to conduct a research report, in order to make the process as, as transparent as possible. I, as, as, an, as an example, I, I rather to, to choose the tutor teacher as my targeted person to, to take notes, because if I, if I did the same with my classmate, the other practitioner, the results can, um, could have been influenced. And the validation of instruments and the, the permissions to ask for, for private information for the participants and, and those things related to the transparency of the, of the process. And finally, the strengths, weaknesses and challenges which are closely related because the well as, well, as a main strength uh, to me was the willingness to work and participate in the classroom during the during the practitioner process because and taking into account the the strategy that I mentioned at the time to at the time of uh, diagnosing planning and implementing the different materials and lesson plans to the course. It was always maintain, maintained a, a, a high level of participation. But this led me to deal with high feelings of anxiety during the internship. As the, as the, as the level of participation were, were too high, the, the, the sense, no sorry, the, it was difficult to me to think about make a mistake during the classes. So for that reason, I got I got anxious, and sometimes I failed in some in very important points, uh, such as take take the take the time management of the activities during the class. For that reason, uh, the challenge is to improve the ability to plan the class. The idea is for me is to learn how to anticipate these problems that may be presented in the classes, in order to in order to to avoid them and and follow and and complete the, the, the whole content planned for the class. And that was a very fun presentation.